Hey, happy Wednesday, everybody. How are you doing? Welcome to a midweek edition of Five Minutes with Phil. Thank you for joining me here today. It is a pleasure to unpack God's Word with you on a daily basis every Monday through Friday. And uh, today is no exception. We, we've got a, a really good challenge from the book of 1 John. The book of 1 John chapter 2. And it is a, uh, I think it's a command that sometimes, especially people in the church, can get a little uh, misconstrued. And, and, and I really want to try to bring some clarity, if I can, in five minutes, uh, to what this verse is actually talking about. So let's, let's take a look at this. We've actually got a few verses we're going to read, starting in verse 15, and we're going to go to verse 17. And here's what it says. Do not love this world, nor the things that it offers you. For when you love the world, you do not have the love of the Father in you. For the world offers only a craving for physical pleasure, a craving for everything we see, and pride in our achievements and our possessions. These are not from the Father but are from this world. And this world is fading away, along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. So what, what's, uh, what's John saying here when, when, when the Holy Spirit inspired him to write this? Um, I, I think, well, first of all, let me say what, what he's not saying, okay? Be, because growing up in the church like I have and being around the church as long as I have, uh, I have heard people <laughs> use the term, well, that's of the world. That's of the world. Uh, that's worldly. And I thought, well, where, where, do we, where do we draw the line between what's worldly and what's not? And here's why I discovered a lot of people when they say, well, that's worldly. Uh, it basically meant something they didn't like, whether it be a style of music or a style, or a, uh, style of clothing or something else like that. And I've learned that uh, that typically becomes very shallow in the definition because we, we tend to equate worldliness just with style or personal taste. So what's this verse saying? You know, John breaks it down quite a bit, and he talks about how, all right, you've got the, uh, you got things that crave physical pleasure. You've got a craving for everything that we see. You've got uh, pride in one's own achievements and, the, and, and own possessions. You know what all that is? That's very self-centered. All of that stuff, and that's what the world is. The, the true mark, the true mark of something that's worldly is something that's very self-centered it's all about me it's what i want it, it's everything that uh matters to me and me only has nothing to do with anybody around me has nothing to do about god it's all about me 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 and and really when it comes right down to it that's not that's not from god at all if 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 you know your bible at all if you've read the Bible one bit, if you know the story of Jesus one iota, you, you know that God is a very selfless individual himself. He sent his only son, Jesus, to die for us. I mean, how selfless can you be more than that? And I believe that what we have to desperately avoid is being all about self. Our lives cannot be about what consumes our, our desires, what consumes our needs, what consumes our wants. It can't be all about how we are so prideful about all that we have done and all that we have accomplished. What we really need to focus on is what pleases God and how can I bless other people that God cares about, which is everybody, by the way. And so today, I really want to I wanna inspire you. I want to encourage you. Don't, don't be obsessed with, with everything that is all about you. 
let's be a selfless people that are all about pleasing God and blessing other people. And, and, and that's when you know you've got the love of God in you. And I want to challenge you with that today. Okay, God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. We love you. And um, hopefully we'll see you again next time, okay? You take care. Bye-bye.